It's into it uncanny. Yes. With realism, you're going to get a bit of uncanny. This looks so diabolical. It lives rent free in Uncanny Valley. What is uncanny? If you ask a specific group of the Sims community, they'll say Enzoi. If you ask fans anticipating the release of Enzoi, they'll tell you realism isn't and was never the issue. If you ask me, I'd say I never got that vibe. The game looks gorgeous to me, but at this point, I'm dying to know what others see when they call this uncanny. You know how the human brain is too good at recognizing faces that aren't there? We also have another primal instinct to tell us if a face we recognize is not quite human. I had no idea how this worked, and it was a sad day to realize Sims 4 Lord were the ones to teach me a new word, or better yet, force me to find out what said word actually means. Based on how many people have already pre-ordered the new expansion before seeing any reviews, I'm hesitant to trust most opinions that come from them. The best explanation I can find to make it plain and simple is when human likeness increases in an object's design, so does one's affinity for the object, but only to a certain point. When the likeness nears total accuracy, affinity drops dramatically and is replaced by a feeling of eeriness or uncanniness. Affinity then rises again Again, when true human likeness indicating a living person is reached. This sudden decrease and increase caused by a feeling of uncanniness creates a valley in the level of affinity, hence the term uncanny valley. This explanation and all other definitions I found all follow the same theme. Imagine the feeling of being unsettled, mysterious, almost supernatural. I had to experience this myself, so cue the late night binge of uncanny deep dives. Anyone smart wouldn't do research for this video in the middle of the night, especially if you're like me and constantly suffer from sleep paralysis but then again Halloween is one of my favorite top three holidays matter of fact it's the kickoff to the best 62 days out of the year so it makes sense I would add this to the midnight binge list right next to the lassophobia and megalophobia I would like to call myself a smart person it just depends on what you consider smart <laughs> uncanny valley is the subconscious feeling of seeing something not quite human but your brain is like I'm not stupid that looks diabolical you're supposed to feel a sense of dread and underlying panic if that's the case can anyone explain to me why I don't feel this? I have a bad feeling this is related to my neurodivergence. I've learned the hard way that being diagnosed with a mental disorder in your mid-20s is a grieving process, so I'm not going to talk about it. <laughs> Next best option is to subject you to this. I'm going to show you a series of images and you tell me what the natural emotional response is supposed to feel like. Let's start with something light. We'll call this level one. Do you feel uncomfortable yet? Any weird butterflies happening for you? This is where the dread and eerie feeling comes in. In. Are you regretting clicking on this video? Do you hate this? <laughs> Okay, you should definitely be creeped out by now. Are you feeling it now? Are you feeling it now, Mr. Crafts? <laughs> Absolutely not, oh my God. Okay, but what about now? Do these images give you the same feels as before? Do they fit into the same explanation we talked about? Comparing the difference between these two images only tells me one is odd and the other feels like a life sim that's too good to be true. Let me be real for a second. I know they said it's coming in late 2024, but Halloween is next week. What are y'all doing? <laughs> I'm trying to be patient, but I'll just say this. You got the first 15 days of November to say something. If not, I'm showing up at your door because you're not going to make me look dumb for defending you. <laughs> I'm still bitter about life by you. I refuse to acknowledge she ever happened. But back to the point of the video, I want to get into the art style of Enzoi. When we think about the art style, we think realistic, modern, but we've established that already. What I want to know is what are the realistic themes trying to accomplish? For example, the clay nature of The Sims 4 adds to the quirky and whimsical experience. The paralyzed characters and environment feel crafted from a painting or drawn by an artist to add to the calm, cozy, and pleasant atmosphere. Enzoi sends the message of current times meets the magic of a perfect world. Remember the utopian world from The Sims 3 into the future expansion? Combine that with the neutral version of Oasis Landing, add a modern twist, and that's what you get from this game. You know what lets me know that we're all just seeing two different games? There is a large group who sees the uncanny take as insignificant criticism. We know this is true because the desire for a more realistic experience is popular in so many gaming genres outside of The Sims. I can easily name just a few of my top favorites that are perfect examples. Could never imagine The Last of Us looking any different than this. Nothing about this heartbreaking story ever made me feel uncomfortable. And this is what I would call as close to photorealistic as it gets. My personal goat, by the way, this game basically raised me. We actually just got a remaster of Until Dawn. Now this one is a different case because you do have those horror elements, so it's easier for the game to reach uncanny territory. Still doesn't take away from the decision-based gameplay that was revolutionary in the way it immerses you into its world. GTA 
is an obvious example. So many people see this game as if Rockstar made a life sim. Call me crazy, but I think it says a lot that you almost never see players complaining about the art direction of GTA becoming too realistic. If you're still on the fence, I'll even hit a little closer to home. If you ask simmers who grew up playing The Sims 1 and 2 what they imagine The Sims 6 to look like, they probably would describe Enzoi. Assuming the evolution jump we had from 1 to 2 would be a reoccurring concept, but 10 more years of The Sims 4 and mobile games like Project Renee and Dolores show EA had other plans for the franchise. I can't help but notice the take of a game being too realistic is popular among Sims 4 players. They call it uncanny or say realism doesn't belong in life sims, which that last opinion is so wild to me, hence the name Life Sims, but what do I know? <laughs> Enjoy simply looks like a next-gen video game to me. The world never really looks photorealistic. Not once when watching gameplay videos or playing around in the character studio myself did my brain forget I was playing a video game. Staring into these supposed soulless, lifeless eyes never made me feel a sense of dread. I've been gaming my entire life. Doesn't matter what the art direction is, all video game characters have that same dead look. It's a video game. What are you expecting to see? <laughs> So let's just clarify this. Is Enzoi uncanny? To make things easier, we'll establish some rules that are required to be considered uncanny. Does it mimic a human? Does it feel unnatural? Does it creep you out? If the answers to those questions are all yes, then it's safe to call it uncanny. So does this mimic a human? That's a quick yes. Of course it does. It's a life sim. However, Enzoi can also look like this. Keep that in mind. Does this feel unnatural? It definitely can. Put the characters under the right lighting, get the perfect angle, and you can make this look so diabolical it lives rent free in uncanny valley does this creep you out well that depends on who you ask if you ask me i'll say no because again all i see is a video game just like all the other games i play do you see the pattern enjoy inherently isn't uncanny put in the right angles however it can get there just like all other examples i mentioned and what do all of these games have in common they're realistic with realism you're going to get a bit of uncanny if you look at it in the wrong way this is why i feel the comments calling enjoy uncanny because it's too realistic just a bit of an overreaction you don't have to mask your preference by calling it bad because it's realistic it's okay to admit enjoy was just not made for you this wouldn't be a problem if they left it at it's not for me but no that's not what they're saying it's a rare day when you don't see comments like this like be for real what are you talking about <laughs> the way this looks like this was posted by AI is the most uncanny thing I've seen by far I said what I said when I said it was telling that the sims 4 players are the ones making these comments. This is a hot take, but I can take the heat. Maybe only having experience with The Sims or cozy cartoonish games can limit your ability to have a nuanced opinion. It's just a thought because it's crazy how my preference is closer to pair lives, yet you don't see me freaking out over Enzoi. But to put this weird reaction to rest, is Enzoi uncanny? Yes, it can be. Does that make it bad? No, you just don't like it. And that's okay. 